My name is Adriana Abarca, and I am the founder and board chair of the Latino Cultural Arts Center of Colorado. I benefited from the realization that they had that we needed to reclaim our cultural identity and we needed to educate ourselves as a community and we needed to put ourselves in positions of influence and power. So I came up with the name Hijos del Sol. I want to say Daniel Valdez had a song, Hijos del Sol, but also the Peruvians often referred to themselves as Hijos del Sol. And I just thought how beautiful, you know, to call yourself children of the sun is just really beautiful. Originally there was some resistance to that name as far as people being intimidated, thinking, well, that must be a store for Mexicans because it's in Spanish. So they didn't even, you know, wander in to see what it was. And what we carry in the store are primarily uh, handmade items from all over Latin America. In particular, we have a lot from Peru, Colombia, and Mexico, as well as Guatemala. Uh, we have items that were made by Latinos here in the United States. There are, again, three locations. One will be uh, dedicated to a community art space, art creation space, and that is entitled Las Bodegas, and that's up at 12th Avenue and I-25. We're finishing up the permitting stage, and we should start renovation sometime this year, 2021. And hopefully by the end of 2021, it'll be all complete and will be moved in and have all of our equipment set up and then we hope to open to the public in 2022. Then we have um, this location where Hijos del Sol is and initially we have already established the retail component and we will be expanding it this year 2021 because it's been very successful and it offers us an opportunity to support artisans throughout the Americas and Latino creators here in the United States. So then if I continue, the Colfax and Federal location, that will be what we want to be the gemstone or the, the mothership. Or, um, that would be the main facility that would be public facing. And what we would have there eventually will be the Mexican Heritage Museum. And then ultimately at this location where Hijos del Sol is, we hope to be able to build an academy of Latino cultural arts so a full-scale academy that offers four components, um, the visual arts, the culinary arts, performing arts, and music, as well as spoken word. Without the efforts and sacrifices of my parents, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I'm totally indebted to them for all that they contributed to me and our community, and I'm just building on that. You know, I, I hope to teach future generations um, how to empower themselves, and I hope to set that example for them.